So in today's video, we're going to be doing a wash day routine. I have a special guest here with me. <laughs> Say hi. Hi. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to be doing both of our... <laughs> So I'm going to be doing our wash routine for both of our hairs. So as you guys know, we both have different hair textures. So my hair, which is natural once again. If you guys have been following me for a while, you guys know that I cut my hair um, back in 2018 for my 30th birthday. And I went relaxed, but it's been a year since I had my last creamy crack. So my hair has grown so much since the last time I got a relaxer and now I'm back natural once again. My hair is a mixture of 4B, 4C, mostly 4C depending on how I style my hair or you know the products that I use in my hair and her hair is more of a 3, I would say what 3A, like a 3A, 2 to Z, I don't know, y'all know I'm not good at these hair typing things. So the majority of her hair is straight with curls at the end. So as far as our hair washing <laughs> routines go, it's totally different. Hers doesn't take as long as me because of my texture. It just requires my conditioner to stay on a little longer, just so that way it gets in there. And you know, just so that way it gets in there like swimwear, it does its job. Her hair is long. But as far as her texture, it really doesn't require much maintenance. It's growing and it just keeps growing because we're taking great care of it. I just like to make sure that as far as washing goes, that we're doing what we have to do to maintain its health, its strength, and to keep it healthy and growing. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys love when I show her hair routines, her wash day routines. You guys really love it. And you guys have asked me to do hair routines. But since I've been transitioning back to natural hair, I haven't done much natural hair tutorials. But now that I'm back natural, I'm going to bring those back to you. So then I was like, why not combine both of ours in one video? So we're going to do that right here, right now. So I hope you guys enjoy. Give us a big thumbs up. If you aren't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Make sure that you subscribe down below and the notification <laughs> bell twice so that you're notified every time we post a video and let's get to washing so without any further ado let's get it you guys have been following my wash day routines for Maddie. You guys know that I like to start out by detangling her hair because I've told you guys that her hair does tangle, especially if it has been washed for a couple of days. So to avoid, you know, pulling her hair, trying to detangle because I told you guys that she is tender headed. I like to detangle her hair first while it's dry, just so that way it makes the washing process easier. So as usual, we're still using Cantu Care for Kids because you guys know that we love these products for our hair. I am looking for other products to try, but these are literally our holy grails for right now. So I start off by washing her hair with the shampoo, of course. So a couple of years ago, somebody mentioned in one of my videos to start washing from the bottom. And since then, it has been a game changer. So thank you for whoever said that to me. So I start washing her hair at the bottom just to, you know, get it all nice and lathery and, you know, get the hair shampoo and just to get the process going. Then I move up to the top of her hair. I get in her scalp. I wash around her edges. I wash all around just to make sure any dirt build up sweat anything that you know is in her hair gets washed properly and removed while shampooing her hair And I told you guys I love using the wet brush because it helps with detangling her hair and just to you know get her hair nice and smooth and all that good stuff so after we're done washing I wash her hair with warm water sometimes a little cool just to seal in moisture for her hair I think I mentioned to you guys in one of the videos, but I love using this Silk Elements Avocado uh, Conditioning Mask, and it's not 
cater is not specifically for kids but I love using it for her hair because it really does help with her frizz she does experience a lot of frizz at times but I noticed when I use this deep conditioner on her hair it actually helps to kind of smooth into I don't know it's just one of those things where you kind of know that this conditioner or this product works for their hair and this is one of those products that do I got it right from Sally's this is actually a throwback product I don't know if you guys remember this growing up but it's one of those products that you know I used to use growing up and I love using it I'll link it down below in case you're interested personally I use it on my hair sometimes as well so don't sleep on those goodies okay so I smooth it around her hair, around her edges, around her ends, sideburns and all that good stuff. Then I wrap her hair around with one of my goodie um, hair scrunchies. And then I leave it on her hair while I am taking care of my hair. Alright, so now it's time for moi. Lately I have been loving my L Organics products. I told you guys I'm a little late to the game because these products have been out. Well not this specific line but my L Organics products have been out for a while and I'm just now getting hit to the game. So I absolutely love and am obsessed with the Rosemary line. I love it because I told you guys before. I love anything meant for my hair because it helps with my scalp, especially for dandruff, and this product is so good for that. Because my hair is natural, again, I have to make sure that it covers all parts of my hair on my head. So two pumps is just not enough. I have to make sure I keep pumping and pumping and pumping to get enough. And then I just spread it amongst my hair, my edges, and I just love how it feels. I remember somebody commented on a comment that I left on your page and they said to add the oil. They have an oil that is a part of this rosemary line and she said to add that to the conditioner or the deep conditioner and y'all, game changer. Sorry that was random but if you do have the line make sure you do that because it does help and the feeling is just so amazing. I wash my hair make sure my scalp is all nice and clean and all that and y'all just look at how my hair looks honey I just love it it's just so oh it just does so much it just does so well with my kinks I just absolutely love it experience postpartum hair loss and my edges are going back I think I know the secret but I want to continue to try it out and see before I talk to you guys about it so give me about another month and I'll come back and give y'all the secret to what I think is the secret to my hair growth so like I said add the oil to the deep conditioner game changer thank me later so then I spread it amongst my hair, my edges, sideburns, beauty bees, all of that because I need to make sure that everything is covered and good to go. And then I leave it on my hair for 20 minutes. So when it's just me, I leave it on a little bit longer, but if I have Maddie with me, then I leave it on for like 10 to 15 minutes because like I said, I just don't want her to be in here so long waiting for me. But while I am deep conditioning, I'm taking care of her. So after I'm done taking care of my hair, then I go and take care of her hair. Rinse off her hair, detangle it, and just get it all nice and clean. And then after I'm done with her hair, then I go back to mine and rinse and seal and all that good stuff.
look at his hair y'all my hair look at my hair i can't believe my natural hair grew back so fast like this like imagine how it's gonna look next year when i hit when i hit two years next year imagine how it's gonna look and how big it's gonna be i can't wait so one of my favorite things to use after i'm done washing our hair is these hair towels they're super soft and just super amazing when it comes to hair because sometimes the towels that we use could be a little hard and you know they're for our skin I found these hair towels at the store I'll link them down below and I honestly think that they are so much better than using a regular towel after I'm done using you know after after we're done wash our hair I just think using these are so much better than using a regular towel so I highly suggest it and I'll leave it down below Like I said our routines are a little different products are a little different but in the end of the day healthy hair is what matters clean hair is what matters and I just love these moments with her because it's just it's just one of those bonding moments that I enjoy having with my daughter So that is the end of our wash day routine. So like I said, this is just strictly how we wash our hair, especially when I'm doing both of our hairs at the same time. When it is just me, it does take a little longer because I have more time myself. But when it's us two, or if I'm doing both of our hairs, I like to be quick because I don't want her playing in the water for too long and it gets cold and everything. If you guys enjoy this routine, all the products that we use will be linked down below. So if you're interested in them, make sure that you check it out and also use because they're really good for your hair okay in the next hair video i'm going to be doing some styling on this one's hair that i'm super excited about because i told you guys that i was going to try to start braiding her hair so that is going to be the next styling video is doing braids on her hair so i'm super excited about that what are you doing magical bobby pin. he's so silly now that my hair is natural again, I will be doing some more natural hair tutorials. So if there's anything specific that you guys want to like, let me know and I'll be sure to do that for you guys. Hope you guys enjoy it. Like I said, give us a big thumbs up and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! Peace! Peace.